we're asked to decide whether the argument, if P then R, if Q then R, R, therefore P or Q, is a valid deduction rule. We will answer the question by making a truth table, which contains all the lines of the argument form. To begin, notice the argument contains the variables P, Q, and R, which are the first three columns. Because we have three variables, notice how it takes eight rows for all the possible permutations of true and false. Next, we have a column for if P, then R, a column for if Q, then R. We already have a column for R, and then we have a column for P or Q. Notice how I've labeled the premises and the conclusion. And now I complete the truth table. The implication if P then R is false only when P is true and R is false, otherwise the implication is true. Looking at the first and third columns, notice P is true and R is false in row two and row four. And these two rows, if P then R is false, in all the rows the implication is true. The column for if P then R is true false, true false, true true, true true. Next, the implication if Q then R is false only when Q is true and R is false, otherwise the implication is true. Analyzing column two and column three, notice Q is true and R is false in row two and row six. These are the two rows in which if Q then R is false, in all the rows the implication is true. The column for if Q then R is true false, true true, true false, true true. And for the last column, we have the disjunction P or Q. P or Q is false only when P is false and Q is false. Otherwise, P or Q is true. So analyzing the first two columns, notice P is false and Q is false in row seven and row eight. In these two rows, P or Q is false. In all the rows, P or Q is true. The column for P or Q is true, 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 false, false. And now for the next step, we find the rows in which all the premises are true and then see if the conclusion is also true. Again, notice how the premises are in columns three, four, and five. Notice all the premises are true in row one, row three, row five, as well as row seven. And now we need to check to see if the conclusion is true in all these rows. In the first row, the conclusion is true. In the third row, the conclusion is true. In the fifth row, the conclusion is true. However, in the seventh row, the conclusion is false, which indicates the argument is not a valid deduction rule. So again, looking at the second to last row, here all the premises of the argument are true, but the conclusion is false and therefore this is not a valid deduction rule. But if we analyze the truth table, we can draw a different conclusion. If we take a look at rows one, three, and five, these are the only rows in which all of the statements, if P then R, if Q then R, as well as P or Q are all true. It also happens that R is true in all these rows as well, which is in column three. Thus the table does show us a deduction rule that is valid different from the one that's given. The argument if P then R, if Q then R, P or Q, therefore R is a valid deduction rule, which again we can verify from our truth table. I hope you found this helpful.